the Tia V2. A car designed to withstand the fury of tornadoes and hurricanes, making it your ultimate survival vehicle for the end of the world. Built on a Dodge Ram base, this beast of a vehicle is fortified against extreme weather, ensuring your safety in the most catastrophic scenarios. Equipped with a 6.7-liter turbo diesel engine pumping out 625 horsepower, the TIV2 can reach speeds of up to 160 km per hour, allowing it to navigate through treacherous conditions with ease. Its modifications include adding a third axle, armored panels to shield against debris, a weather monitoring turret on the roof, and hydraulic anchoring spikes to secure the car in place. The windows are reinforced with 1.6-inch thick bullet-resistant polycarbonate sheets layered with tempered glass, providing unparalleled protection against flying debris. During tests, the TIV2 endured wind speeds of up to 321 km per hour, a testament to its resilience and durability. Apocalypse Juggernaut Meanwhile, vehicles from South Florida Jeeps offer another level of apocalypse preparedness. With a design that exudes both fear and assurance, these cars are equipped with a 6.2-liter supercharged engine, delivering a whopping 850 horsepower. While not achieving extreme speeds due to their weight, they excel at navigating obstacles and deterring potential threats with their menacing appearance. The Superior But when it comes to superior protection, look no further than the Superior. With top-notch ballistic shielding, bullet-resistant glass, and advanced security features, this vehicle ensures the safety of up to 14 passengers and two crew members in the face of any danger. Capable of reaching speeds of up to 129 km per hour, the Superior not only keeps you safe but also helps you quickly escape from hazardous zones. In a world where survival is paramount, these apocalypse-ready vehicles offer a lifeline in the most dire circumstances. Whether facing the wrath of nature or the threats of humanity, you can trust these formidable machines to see you through the end of the world and beyond. The Kako AX with its impressive horsepower and adaptive camouflage, the Kako AX allows you to swiftly navigate dangerous areas without drawing unwanted attention. Its high-speed capabilities are crucial for escaping threats quickly and efficiently. Designed for armored use, the Kako AX provides robust protection against various hazards, including mines. This feature is essential for surviving in hostile environments where danger lurks around every corner. The retractable modular turret with a full 360 degrees rotation and machine gun capability enhances your defensive capabilities, allowing you to fend off threats effectively while on the move. This feature is particularly valuable for defending against hostile forces or zombie attacks. The IAG Armored Truck Similarly, the IA Armored Truck offers comprehensive protection and offensive capabilities tailored for surviving a zombie apocalypse. Heavy-duty armor, built to withstand bullet impacts and mine blasts, the IE Armored Truck provides a secure shelter against both undead and human threats. Reinforced front section, the bulldozer-like shield enables the truck to plow through hordes of zombies without sustaining significant damage, ensuring safe passage through infested areas. Versatile weaponry, equipped with a turret capable of holding machine guns and other armaments, the truck can engage enemies from any direction, enhancing your chances of survival in hostile environments. Meteor The idea of using a meteor to survive the end of the world might seem odd at first, but once you discover its true potential, it all makes sense. The four-wheel vehicle Meteor may not match the strength of its extraterrestrial flying namesakes, but its solid armor makes it a reliable choice for the apocalypse. This tough armor ensures it can easily withstand any weapons wielded by raiders or attacks from zombies. In the kind of apocalypse that movies often portray, Meteor offers serious protection. It's like a big, tough BX, measuring around 2.4 meters wide, 6 meters long, and 2.4 meters tall. You can fit up to 10 people inside. Surviving the end times isn't just about having tough armor, it's about having additional functionalities. The Meteor is equipped with an 8.9L engine delivering 375 horsepower. 
It also includes independent suspension, a central tire inflation system, driver aid technology, an automatic fire suppression system, and the possibility to mount a 360 degrees turret on the roof. The Barricade Vehicles When facing a zombie outbreak, a vehicle equipped with a barricade can offer reliable protection against brain eaters. While barricades hold their own against zombies, mobile vehicles take it to the next level. The mobile barrier can quickly get to where it's needed most and instantly create a blockade that zombies can't get through. Plus, setting up this barrier takes zero time or effort. Additionally, these barricaded cars boast cutting-edge technology. They come decked out with surveillance cameras, night vision gear, and even a fire extinguishing system. The cameras and night vision gear are super handy, they can help spot zombies coming your way day or night. Dominator Every now and then, people design cars for weird purposes, inadvertently making them perfect for making it through the apocalypse. For instance, there's a car designed literally for following hurricanes and tornadoes, with a bold name, the Dominator. It's the third car in the series, and through its evolution, the car underwent continuous changes, transforming into a resilient vehicle capable of withstanding extreme weather like hurricanes and tornadoes. This makes the Dominator a prime choice as one of the top vehicles for surviving an apocalypse. The car is built to tackle tough weather like tornadoes and hurricanes. It's got a steel body coated with Kevlar, which shields it from flying debris that could wreck it in high winds. The windows are double paned for extra protection. To stay grounded, it's got a system that stops it from getting picked up by the wind. Plus, there are these skirts around the bottom of the body that keep out strong gusts. And if that's not enough, the Dominator's hydraulic spikes physically nail it down. With all these features, the vehicle can endure wind speeds of 240 km per hour to 320 km per hour and is shielded from potential impacts by various objects. It's a great option for surviving the end of the world with intense hurricanes and tornadoes. The only downside is its weight of 5 tons, but thanks to the 6.7L engine, the vehicle can cautiously approach a tornado and quickly move away from it. Tankboat X18 Surviving an apocalypse on land seems straightforward, hop into an armored car and drive away. Surprisingly, the same tactic works on water with a tank boat. The X-18 isn't just a tough boat that resembles a tank in appearance and firepower, it has more features to offer. One of them is its two-hole design made of a material ten times tougher than steel yet five times lighter. This makes the boat faster and more agile in the water while maintaining its robustness. The boat moves fast not just because it's made of lighter material, but also because of what's inside. The X-18 runs on a 1700 horsepower engine and a water jet propulsion system. It's got a big 1590G fuel tank, which doesn't make it faster, but lets you sail up to 1094 kilometers without needing to refuel. The boat can not only sail away but also actively defend itself. For this purpose, the X-18 has an unmanned turret with an autocannon and two machine guns. It's also worth noting that the boat can carry up to 60 people inside, while all of them are provided with the necessary things for survival as well as access to an integrated drone, which can be used for reconnaissance. The boat is also equipped with various communication systems so the passengers will not be left alone and in the dark, but will always be able to communicate with other groups of people who survive the apocalypse. Storm this car is perfect for surviving the apocalypse because it excels in every aspect, not just one. The Storm is versatile and can travel anywhere thanks to its ability to switch between steel and rubber tracks. Plus, if that's not enough, it can effortlessly swim a certain distance in amphibious mode. In a nutshell, the Storm offers shelter even in the most remote and inaccessible locations. The car's excellent performance owes much to its powerful engine with a 2,500 horsepower hybrid engine. It's perfect for survival scenarios, enabling speeds of up to 140 km per hour on land and 30 km per hour on water. 
When running solely on batteries, the car can travel for three and a half hours at 90 km per hour or an hour and a half at speeds ranging from 99 km per hour to 140 km per hour. Opting for the hybrid mode extends its functionality to last anywhere from 18 to 36 hours on the road. On water, it can float for up to four hours. If you're concerned about looters after a disaster, the storms got you covered with top-notch ballistic explosive device and mine protection systems. Scarabee Versatility is a word that can be used to describe the vehicle from Eris Company. It's nimble, fast, and can handle various terrains, unlike many other armored vehicles. With a top speed of about 130 km per hour, the Scarab can conquer steep slopes up to a 60% incline and side slopes of 40%. These capabilities are a result of its relatively light weight of around 8 tons, a robust 300 horsepower engine, and the ability to run on a 70 kW hybrid electric drive system. The Scarab's versatility extends to its defense system, which includes machine guns and grenade launchers used to protect against marauders and unwanted visitors. These can be installed on three separate turrets. In times of chaos, having a vehicle that keeps you safe is crucial. Despite being light, the Scarab manages to offer solid protection with mine and ballistic shields, plus the option to add smoke grenades for extra security. The Unicat Expedition Vehicles Moving to a new location when things get tough can help you survive the apocalypse, and all you really need is a mobile home. A solid choice is Unicat mobile homes, especially the ones built on manned trucks powered by 480 horsepower or 353 kW. These vehicles effortlessly traverse various terrains while maintaining impressive speeds for their considerable size. Of course, during an apocalypse, a mobile home needs to be self-sufficient and offer at least basic comfort. Unicat models achieve this through variously positioned solar panels, 11.4 kW water-cooled diesel generators, and batteries. Water is stored in 158-gallon tanks and supplied through a rainwater collection system. The level of comfort inside the mobile home is anything but minimal, it has all that humanity has to offer, making it thoroughly equipped with a water supply, toilet, heating system, full lighting, and air conditioning. There's also a kitchen, a bedroom, a large number of storage boxes, a rest area, and even a sanitary room. All this will allow you to live comfortably and independently in nearly any place and under almost any circumstances. Unicat cars have almost everything except a post-apocalyptic look. Fortunately, the company can draw on a wealth of ideas from countless apocalyptic movies. Ascender 30A Take a tough Ford F550 Super Duty, add a rugged camper on top, and boom, you've got yourself a ride ready for an apocalypse. The key here is the vehicle base. It can handle any terrain, so this car isn't scared of rough roads or obstacles. Surviving with the Ascender 30A won't be hard, it's fully equipped for a comfortable life even in the toughest end-of-the-world conditions. Inside, you'll find a complete dining area, a compact kitchen with a stove, a shower, a 100-gallon water tank, and more. Surviving the end of the world doesn't necessarily mean relying on electricity, however, the company behind the camper decided to play it safe by fitting solar panels that juice up the lithium-ion batteries. They also threw in two alternators just in case. 